The theme of this project is taking uh, pop tunes and Broadway show tunes, TV tunes, things of that sort, uh, and turning them into jazz standards, or at least material that sounds like modern jazz. Steve Wiest's new release, Out of the New, is actually his second release on Arabesque Recordings. His first release was a big band project that I had the honor of mixing. And just as that big band project was a creative success, this new release in quintet form is a wonderful collaboration between Steve and four of his good friends and faculty members from the University of North Texas. All of them, in their own right, world-class players. So the outcome of this CD is really enjoyable to listen to. Well, playing with Steve, um, if you know his, his personality, he's exuberant um, and he's joyful and his playing is, is exactly the same way. It's very exuberant, um, unexpectedly over the top on trombone um, and the, the screams and, and, and things that, that come out of the horn are just, just uh, wonderful to, to hear him do that. It's really a special situation when you're dealing with someone who's both a really good writer and a really good player. The music has, has special relevance because this person's not up there conducting an arrangement. They're, they're actually a participant in the music just like all the rest of us. There's a reason that Steve's writing has been nominated for a Grammy Award. His playing and his music are just beautifully unique and a lot of fun. I think that what the listener will take away from this CD is an enjoyment and a real appreciation for Steve's unique take on these tunes. I chose these particular tunes. As I looked around, it was easy. In a couple of cases, it was very easy. Some of my favorites uh, in the pop world. Although it's not unusual in the history of jazz to do pop tunes, um, dating clear back to Basie doing Beatles and stuff like that, you know. But um, these particular tunes, um, probably no one would have thought would be a jazz vehicle. And so by selecting tunes that were familiar maybe to the, the average MTV watcher or someone who just listens to Top 40 radio, he was able to find a common ground to start with. I don't know, I guess you could call them, I like to call them derangements, because it's not really, you know, copies, it's not like a cover band copy. What Steve has written is a complete new take on all these tunes, with room for other types of improvisation, sometimes other grooves, but still paying respects to the original song. I can see the some you know some of the challenges that Steve had to deal with and it's it's not that easy to to take from a screaming sort of a lyrical popish sort of a atmosphere of you know bring it down to like a little bossa nova quiet little bossa nova sort of a texture it was kind of natural for me to pick a few people such as uh, Sting you know his music is very jazz influenced so that was easy some people that i really enjoy are Coldplay Maroon 5 Foo Fighters people like that Green Day uh, areas where you wouldn't expect there'd be a vehicle for jazz, but the cool thing was the, the, the hooks and the material in the music were so strong and so catchy that when you took the form of the tunes and put jazz voicings and jazz sensibilities into play, uh, it created these charming vehicles that were just too cool. And we've just had a blast playing them. It's like having a conversation with, you know, Lenny Bernstein and Socrates and, and Gandhi or something. And, you know, if, if you were talking to these people, you'd be thinking, man, what, you know, what can I say that's important enough to be said here? And yet at the same time, it would be so beautiful that you would just probably organically have something wonderful to say. So I find the same experience with these guys is that it just thrills you with the same spark that I felt when I first started playing in that garage band in Mississippi. It's just like, you know, it's just so much fun to have this conversation. And with these guys, you just end up trying to say something more profound. And it's such a nice camaraderie musically that I think we end up doing just that.